What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Gladiobots and I do want to start working on an awesome AI and start actually competing in the online multiplayer. But before we do that, I want to do one last video of kind of ridiculous proportions and really I want to do it for educational purposes. In the last video of Gladiobots, we did 100 shotguns versus 100 snipers and I honestly thought that the snipers were going to win, but it turns out shotguns are incredibly overpowered compared to snipers and so I figured there's four different types of units in Gladiobots, which you can see here. There's the assault unit, the machine gun, the shotgun, and the sniper. And I feel like what we got to do today is do the rest of those 100 versus 100 battles and truly see which units are the best and which units counter which other units. And I feel like this is great because it's going to help us understand how to make a really good, strong AI team that kind of works together. We're going to go back into Sandbox now. Before we do any of the 100 versus 100s, there was one comment that really got to me, and that was the comment where instead of doing 100 shotguns versus 100 snipers, what if you do 100 shotguns versus 99 shotguns and one sniper? We're going to go here into the red team, which is the sniper teams. We're going to change the shotgun AI, and thank you guys so much for pointing out the apply to the whole team button. That would have saved me literally 20 minutes in the last recording. And then we're going to go class shotgun, and we're going to apply that to the whole team as well. Perfect. So now we've got all these on the red team as shotgun AI, and then we're going to go to the very end of the team which I believe spawns it in the very back row, we should be able to set one guy to be a sniper. Now, I feel like, obviously, the 100 shotguns is going to win because 100 shotguns kills 100 snipers. You would think one shotgun is more powerful than one sniper. I mean, I don't think this one sniper in the back is going to do enough damage before it dies. Uh, who knows? Let's give it the sniper AI so it shoots long range. All right, so let's, uh, let's try this. Here we go. In three, two, one... I mean, this is, this is stupid. They're all just gonna explode. Okay, it's a lot of shotguns. It's, it's dead even, which you would expect. Okay, is the sniper gonna win the question? It, I mean, there's gonna be... Okay, blue's winning now, which is, makes sense, because they've got the extra one shotgun guy. No, look, look at all the leftover shotguns. One shotgun apparently makes that much of a difference. Uh, yeah, no, this, this guy, he didn't, he didn't help. No, you didn't, you didn't help. All right, well, we're not really surprised about that one. Okay, so obviously shotguns are OP. So I think the next thing we got to do is check out what counters the shotgun. Now we have two other AI to really sort of build. One is the machine gun AI and one is the assault AI. Now I believe both of those bots are good at the medium range. So these AI that we've been doing right now, they're all very, very simple. They just have attack the closest enemy bot and move towards the closest enemy. So if there's an enemy within short range, they'll shoot at them. And if they're not within range, they'll move towards them. The sniper AI is set to any range, so long range as well. So I feel like we can just build one more simple AI and we'll do it for a combination of the MG slash the assault trooper. And they'll both be medium range. Because really we just need short, medium, and long with this simple stuff. Uh, so we'll go back in the sandbox slash MG assault. Whatever, something like that. MGA, good enough. And then all we really need is again our, uh, our two little actions. So one is attack uh, closest enemy bot within position distance from me. Short or medium range, apply. So this will automatically attack closest enemy bot if they're within short or medium range. And then otherwise, we just have an action of move towards the closest enemy bot. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got this AI and we'll make this team of red, we'll make this the team of MGs. Now, the machine guns, they move slowly, they have a lot of health, and then they deploy. And once they deploy, they start shooting. So I'm not sure if they're going to actually deploy in time or if the shotguns are going to close the gap. But there are going to be four rows of them, though. So I feel like the machine guns are going to counter the shotguns just because of the amount of health they have. But let's uh, let's try this out. All right, so we've got a full team of machine guns and a full team of shotguns. And uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. Ready up. So they're all moving. See, the machine guns are going to stop here. They're going to deploy. And now they're going to start shooting. Okay, that's, that's a lot of shooting. Oh, my goodness. No, see, they don't, they don't shoot constantly enough because they shoot one shotgun in particular and kill them. I feel like shotguns are just the most powerful unit in the game. They clump up. They build these lines. They're so good. It was 100 to 26. The machine guns didn't even come close to touching the shotguns. If you have shotguns in a 1v1 fight, are they actually... They're just unbelievably powerful. 
So the only other matchup we can try is shotgun versus assault troopers. But I mean, I'm not confident. I honestly thought the machine guns were going to just dominate. It's funny because when I first played this game, I never had a shotgun in my lineup. I thought, ah, they're too weak. They're slow. And now I'm realizing watching how powerful the shotguns are. You basically have to have a shotgun in your lineup. And the key is going to be making sure your shotgun doesn't die. So it can get in, get those quick shots off and then disappear before getting shot. Or maybe use your other AI as cover or something. But I mean, that's just crazy. So let's switch over to assault. But I feel like, you know what? The shotguns are still going to win here. This is 100 assaults now. Again, with that medium range setup, because at medium range, you can see the assault troopers 55%. And 15% at long range, whereas the shotgun, uh, the medium range is 25%. So I figure at least they'll start getting shots off here. And then when they get close range, you know, they'll just hit more. Um, I'm not really confident. I think the shotgun's going to win this. But here we go. In three, two, one. I mean, these shotguns are so good. I need to have a shotgun in every, every team. Okay, the assault troopers are doing a little bit better initially anyways. Maybe the assault troopers counter the shotguns? No, because once the gap is closed and they line up... Look at the kill counter. It just explodes. That's insane. Shotguns are shotguns are overpowered. The dev the dev made the made, made the shotguns the best best unit in the game. Okay. I will say though, out of all the groups, the assault troopers did the best. You can see a two to one ratio, 100 to 50. So the assault troopers aren't bad for countering shotguns, but shotguns on their own are, are the single best unit in the game. And shotgun versus any other unit in a 100 versus 100 situation, the shotgun wins. So that's just absolutely crazy. And that's really, really good to know because now it just shows if you really want to have a powerful team, you need shotguns that run up into their face and really do a lot of damage. All right, so I want to do the rest of the battles now. So we've got the uh, assault team set up here on the red side. So on the left side, let's put the uh, sniper team and make an entire team of snipers. Now, I feel like the assaults at medium range versus snipers at long range, the snipers, I think, are going to win because the snipers are just automatically going to sit at long range and shoot. The assault guys at medium range only have 55% accuracy. So, might not work. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. So, let's set this to snipers. I mean, maybe we should have the, sh the assault troopers move to a close range to do better. But I do want to keep this kind of like a true testing situation and leave them at medium range. But we got a team of 100 snipers. I feel like this, the, the snipers are going to win. 100 snipers, 100 assault bots. And uh, here we go. See, they're going to stop at medium range. These guys are just already forming lines. Yeah, it's not It's not looking good for the assault boys. They haven't even gotten shots off yet. See, they don't move fast enough to close the gap. The snipers are just unbelievably powerful when they can close. Although, they're getting kills now. Oh, this is getting close. Oh, never mind the assault troopers. The snipers suck. Look at that. The assault troopers are actually going to push back. They're going to do it. Oh, I thought they were going to lose for sure. Are you serious? Do snipers really suck that bad? You know, it's a really good thing I'm actually doing these tests. I, I've been wrong on every one of my predictions now. I, every single one of my predictions, I've thought, okay, snipers are going to beat assault troopers. Shotguns are going to lose to machine guns. Turns out snipers suck and shotguns are overpowered. This is probably why my AI team that I built before actually sucked. I had it so focused around the snipers and not at all focused on shotguns. I didn't even have shotguns in the lineup. And it turns out I'm just completely wrong. So we obviously have to keep the snipers here. So the snipers have lost to shotguns. They've lost to assault troopers. The only guy left that hopefully the snipers can redeem themselves on is the machine gun trooper. If we put a whole team of machine guns at medium range, can the snipers actually take out the machine guns? I mean, this has got to be it. This has got to be the one combo for the snipers. Otherwise, I honestly don't think I'm going to even want to include a sniper in my lineup. If, if the snipers can't beat the machine guns, I don't really see what the counter is. They've got great accuracy at long range. You can see 100% accuracy no matter where they are, but they just don't do the damage. Every other robot closes the gap before the sniper can really show that that 100% accuracy is worth it. Unless you, I guess, protect your snipers. But, I mean, let's see here. They got a good chance. So they're, they're going to kill a bunch of machine guns because the machine guns are so slow. So they've killed one whole line already. But now the machine guns are setting up. And once they set up... Oh, no, oh, maybe not. They've only got one kill. Maybe the snipers counter the machine guns. No, no, there goes the kill counter. I mean, this is close. It's closer. The snipers have already gotten 50 kills. The machine guns haven't caught up yet. Oh, no, look at how fast they catch up, though, once they get into range. 
Yeah, honestly, I don't think I'm going to include a sniper in my kill lineup. The problem is the snipers move really slow, so they're not very fast at moving, so they can't retreat fast enough to get out of the way. Pretty much every other unit other than the machine gun will close the gap on the snipers. So even if we told all our snipers to retreat, the assault bots are going to be faster, the shotgun bots are going to be faster. I mean, the only thing that the snipers can really do is take shots and then kind of bail from situations or maybe put them on like a point in domination. But even then, they just don't do damage. The sniper is so far lost every battle and the shotgun has won every battle. All right, so we only have one battle left and I think it's the MGs versus the assault bots. So we'll set the blue team here and we'll change them over to the MG assault AI again, apply to the whole team. I, you know what? This has been such a faster video compared to the other one. I honestly wouldn't have done this video if you guys didn't point out there was this button because it has made it so much easier to figure out. And here we go, assault bot, apply to the whole team. Perfect, all right, so this is all medium range. Machine guns versus assault bots. I'm honestly, in my prediction, I've been wrong about every prediction so far, but in my prediction, the assault bots should win this compared to the machine guns. I think the machine guns have the extra health, but the deployment time is not gonna help them. I think the assault bots with their quick shooting and quicker movement is gonna win this fight. Now I've been wrong in every prediction, so far, but we'll see what happens. I, I think the ultimate kill squad is going to be machine guns, assault bots, and shotguns. I think having snipers is a waste of your time, to be perfectly honest. I think you're better off having an assault bot than a sniper bot. Just because of the versatility of the assault bots. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. This is actually a really close battle. This is insanely close. But now, look, the assault bots are kind of taking the lead. Although, not really. This is still insanely close. Holy cow. This is actually... Oh, the machine guns took the lead, but not, not that much. Oh, this is so close. No, now the machine guns are going to take it. Okay, so the machine guns do kind of beat somebody. All right, so the machine guns, you know, that was actually a really close battle, but they did end up winning in the end. So if we really want to figure out what we can learn from this experiment, I can say... Without a doubt, 100 versus 100 battles, shotguns win every time. Shotguns win all three matchups. The next best is actually the machine gun because the machine gun beat the assault troopers, it beat the snipers, and then it lost to the shotguns. And then the third best would be the assault troopers because the assault troopers can beat the snipers, but it loses to the other two. So I think if we're going to make a really, really good kill squad AI, the best way to do it is got to be machine guns, assault troopers, and shotguns. And definitely have the focus on trying to protect the shotguns and have them really take out the targets quickly. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, there's a little bit of flaws when we do, you know, 100 versus 100 testing. I mean, we could have done 4v4 or whatever. The elimination game mode is a direct fighting battle, but in the other game modes like domination and collection, we're more focused on capturing points or collecting resources. So there is a little bit of a difference there. And obviously, just because the AI is good at killing stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean it's good at the other game mode types. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What other kind of tests do you think we could do? I definitely am going to start working on a proper AI squad now. I want to get into the multiplayer and actually start competing against other people's AIs online. I'm not sure which game mode I want to pick yet. I'm kind of leaning towards domination, which is like a control the point type thing, but I'm not really sure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next time.